Hi, Twilations. Wait, hold up. Two Twil videos in summer 2017? I thought Twil had become seasonal. If you new viewers are confused, go watch Twil 0A for an in-depth explanation of how this YouTube competition works. Last time, a lot of people commented, I have no idea what's going on lol, and you think you're funny, but in reality, the real funny one was JB Bautista, who asked me if I had a missing mother. By the way, my excuse for the hiatus this time was that I flew back to Northern California for a week, and they were my first two flights alone ever, so that monumentous event was enough to excuse me for the rest of the month. And also, if you're annoyed by the low animation quality, well, remember when I said Twow should be streamlined in the beginning? Now they take me to to five days to finish, and that's just not acceptable anymore. So deal with it. Let's go super fast. Right now we have our final four Twowers. Howard, Joseph, Twister, Meester, Light, Midnight, and, uh, Yesowin. Four months ago, they responded to the 23rd Twow prompt, which was written by Jumma Talk, Alex Lion, and Not Pro. The prompt was, 10 colors raced to get away from the 2020 zombie outbreak. One cheated. Describe which one without using the letter A. I forgot to mention last time, but all 8 responses abided by those rules. And last episode, we finally got to read and critique their 8 responses. In total, 2,342 people cast 2,485 votes, which is a record high by a lot. And that's really nice. But didn't I tell you guys not to vote more than once? 143 troublemakers? Darn, I'm gonna need more crushers. Speaking of troublemakers, on July 11th, 2017, a certain somebody deleted almost all of the H21 Central Discord server, but I'm not gonna say who, because giving recognition to people who commit bad deeds just encourages more people to do it. Anyway, the moderators did a good job of rebuilding everything, so yay. Some moderators also persuaded me to persuade you guys to join the server again, since many of you may have been pruned from the server due to all the destruction. So yeah, litted. Thanks to Captain Balkan for correcting dozens upon dozens of incorrectly formatted votes, and thanks to Hazel Cricket for animating most of this episode. Another thing, here's the audience retention graph for Twow 23A. I think it's pretty interesting. So back to Twow 23B. Our final four Twow contestants are gonna be scored by their higher performing response. The Twower with the highest score will get three mentions, and the Twower with the lowest score will be fourth off of 10 words of wisdom. As always, we're gonna reveal how each Twower did in the order they placed last time. I kinda wanted to shake things up a bit by maybe showing you the 8 responses first, and then revealing one by one who submitted which ones. But nah, I'm lazy, and besides the season is almost over. So last time, Meester Tweester sandwiched the whole leaderboard with his $0 footlong sandwich. So he's up first. Meester condoned illegal drug use in one response, so it makes sense that that one scored lower. His higher scoring response, red hit in the blood puddle where zombies never looked, is kinda gross if you put yourself in red's shoes. I mean, just think of all the diseases. But regardless, this repulsive response will determine this sun kid's true score. Fifty two point nine zero per cent. I say meh, that's pretty okay ish. Up next is Joseph Howard, who proved his polarizability once again by launching Twow Nation into two alliteration factions by claiming that one alliterates with water. This time, Joe Ho said, Green didn't even run, he blends in with the zombies, success, which contains a grammatically unforgivable comma splice. That's bad, that's really bad. I liked his second response with the 2020 wordplay, but perhaps voters thought it was fruit hanging a little too low. Anyway, Joho, how do you do? Fifty point one six per cent, right above the midpoint. Speaking of words that start with mid, up next is Midnight Light. Oh wait, she's not. It's actually Yasoan who's up next, my bad. Yasoan said, Devious Trickster, Rule Bender Red. Other competitors to zombies were fed. Which, to my knowledge, was the only response this episode to rhyme. I really liked Yasoan's second response because I, Yellow Carry, did prevent a lot of colors, like gray and orange, from ever appearing in these responses by prohibiting the letter A. Anyway, Yasoan, to secure a spot into Twow's final three, you just need to beat Joseph of Howard's score of 50.16%. Do you think you can achieve that? You can! With a hefty score of 61.07%, you're leading the pack by a mile. 
if a mile equals exactly 8.18%. But now, our Lunar Lady Midnight Light is the only Twower left to be revealed. Either she or Joseph Howard will be eliminated from the show, and the other one will join Yasoan and Mr. Tweester on Twow's luscious podium. Both endangered Twowers voluntarily left the H1 Central Discord server in the last few weeks, so perhaps leaving one thing does increase your chances that you'll leave another thing. But anyway, Midnight's higher scoring response was, White outwitted the zombies using his privilege of overpriced schooling. While I admit expensive schools are nice, unless they're physically built with thicker walls, windows, and locks, they ain't given those students any more protection from the invading zombies. But anyway, you know the drill. Midnight's gotta beat 50.16% to eliminate Joho, but otherwise, she's out. Who's it gonna be? Let's find out. Midnight Light is safe. Goodbye, Joseph Howard. You losing this episode was a real shock, because I had always envisioned you as the immortal Twow superpower. But I suppose every hero has their Achilles heel, and yours is zombies. Joho, thank you so much for all your contributions to the H2 Central server with your insanely well-prepared puzzle competitions and your now-completed duty as administrator. Twow just won't be the same without you. Without your back-to-back -back winning responses, without your booksona so desirable other people copy it, and especially without your infinitely succinct confessionals. Goodbye. Wait, hold on! Midnight Light and Joseph Howard had nearly identical responses, and I bet voters dislike responses that were too similar. So by coming up with the same idea independently, Midnight killed Joho. Oh, another thing? Some people were annoyed that I didn't do a freestyle drawing of the Mighty Mage's last elimination. So I'll do it right now, here it is. But to the survivors, congratulations! Yasoen, Mr. Tweester, and Midnight Light, you will officially make up Twow's podium, but we don't yet know the order in which you'll do that. Stats time, your one and only beloved board game master won this time. So here's three mentions, Yasoen, Yasoen, Yasoen. He also scored another big tw achievement by creating the largest gap between first and second place ever, 8.18%. Also, I only now realized how similar a lot of the last placers looked. Yasoen is also the second Twower to ever win four times after Joseph Howard. But back to Twow 23, each of the eight responses only addressed one color. Of those eight, three talked about red, three talked about green, one talked about white, and one talked about yellow. Mr. Tweester and Joseph Howard both did exactly the same color combination, green and red. You might have noticed I didn't include the number of voters and votes each response got. That's because every vote affects every response. So you already know they all got the total 2,342 voters and 2,485 votes. But speaking of vote counts, thanks for making them so dang high this time. With such a large sample size, our voter rating distributions look quite smooth indeed. Just looking at them, we can intuitively feel that this response was the most controversial, probably because it was somewhat political, while this response was the least controversial. Wait, they were both written by Midnight Light? Weird. Wait, no, not weird, because a Twower whose name literally means Dark Bright is obviously going to produce two extreme opposites. In other news, every single extra response was below the elimination threshold for the first time ever, which creates this lovely symmetry between the entries that counted and the entries that didn't. Not counting Joseph Howard, who surprisingly had the best lower response, the other three Twowers sorted themselves in exactly the same order twice. Pretty cool. Joho also joins Tak Ajnan and SpicyMan33 as the only three Twowers to get eliminated with a score greater than 50%. That's pretty good company to be around, to be honest. Now, some people thought I was too restrictive in banning the letter A. Well, first of all, you should blame Jama Talk for that. And second, is it really that harsh? Because out of the 60 most common colors according to XKCD, 31, or more than half, actually don't have A's and are allowed. Be thankful I didn't ban the letter E like in 1221, where only 16 out of 60 colors make it past the filter. Here's the 12 predictions of who will win based on past performances. Without Joseph Howard to take a huge chunk of the pie, the remaining three all have about an equal chance of winning. 
Although two Twowers, Tak Ashton and Joho, got very close to surpassing a 50% chance of winning in the past, it looks like that won't happen until it's mathematically required to at the final two. Also, no pressure to Midnight Light, but if she survives one more episode, then we will have gender equality in Twow's final two. That would be quite an achievement, considering that about a year ago, 13 of Twow's final 14 were male. So yay Midnight! To summarize, here's who's still in and who's eliminated. If you're eliminated, you won't be able to send me any more responses for upcoming TWOW Season 1 prompts. Okay, enough statistics. It's time to leap into TWOW 24, the semifinals. What's the 24th TWOW prompt? Well, we're finally done with the three TWOW 6 mashup prompts, so we gotta have something original this time. This is the last prompt before the quote TWOW finale unquote. So how about this? How does a true TWOW contestant prepare for the finale? That's it. That's the penultimate 12 prompt. Yasuin, Mr. Twister, and Midnight Light, you each get to submit two responses to that prompt. Send them to me, Carrie KH, via Discord PM before the Emoji Movie premieres. That's July 28th for the two people on Earth who don't know. Actually, due to episode delays, let's change the deadline to August 3rd, 2017. So you can set aside a good amount of time to watch the Emoji Movie. So see you in Twow 24A. Excuse me now, because I gotta look at the beloved Twow fan art. Drop it.